What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Yes, it is me, Faith Martini. I am still alive and well. So are the kids. I hope you're doing well. Guys, we moved again. <laughs> if you followed me on Instagram, then you already saw that we moved. We moved back in October. Unfortunately, it's taken me over a month to actually bring this video out to you guys because because of life <laughs> but today i'm sharing with you a bit of cleaning organization um after the move and yeah my place is a bit it's quite messy right now i have things all over the place my parents has always helped me with you know moving things from one apartment to the other apartment um by the way if you're new to my channel my name is faith martini i am a single mom to my two boys um we actually moved from we had actually moved from my previous apartment to a um apartment at the top level and then of course i have children two boys who are very active and i thank god for that um they're very energetic they're very active they like to run around and scream and throw tantrums and all that good stuff that toddlers love to do um and so we had neighbors downstairs who um i guess worked from home so they didn't really appreciate <laughs> my kids energetic um so they you know they they've been calling the listing office so much um to the point where the listing office you know i mean at, at, at some point i was i thought i was gonna get like i was gonna have to find another place but i praise god and i thank god that the listing office was able to find another um another apartment uh, within the same building so i was able to stay here so we moved from that to the lower level now which is perfect okay um this era <laughs> this area is actually pretty good the boys can run around they can you know ride their cars without disturbing anyone and you know i definitely understand you know how it is to have somebody on top of you walking around i've lived on the lower floor before so i, I definitely understand that so i know it can be frustrating to constantly hear little feet when you're working from home so i definitely resonate with those people and i'm just glad the situation worked out as it did once again guys it has been two months where i have disappeared from the face of youtube without any warning without um any communication with you guys and i just stopped posting and i'm so sorry once again i'm so sorry i think if you are watching if you watch all of my videos this year you will notice several times that i say i am sorry for like disappearing <laughs> um guys this has been a really really tough year for me um to be honest i think it has been one of the toughest years of my life so far um i've def definitely really struggled a lot um with um different emotions different thoughts different things and um and it's been hard for me to get on youtube and post while i have been going through the motions and honestly it's never really something that i plan i never say okay i'm just gonna take like a month off it just happens to be uh, usually an event or an event takes place in my life and then i'm just like oh my gosh i this is hard <laughs> this is hard um and then i don't post one day and i say i'm gonna post tomorrow tomorrow comes and goes the next day comes and goes um and as it happens of course i'm i'm dealing with different things that are going on in my life and um it just makes it a little challenging for me to get on here and share with you guys um you know doing youtube is not really like a nine to five job where you can just leave work behind and you know go home it's it's your life that you're putting out there it's your home it's your everything you know so it's kind of hard to separate the two for me it's hard for me to say okay you know work is work and personal life is personal life because work is my personal life and um so it's whenever i have those really tough um situations i definitely um i have felt like i just needed to to have that space where i can just think through it 
you know, I don't think it's a good idea to always share everything on social media. I am definitely try. I try to be transparent with you all. And, you know, I try to share um, as much as I can to be vulnerable so that I can be able to inspire others as well. But I also realize that not everybody who's watching my video is my friend. You know, we are all, we've never met before. We are strangers. You know, you're my friends virtually. But I realized that not everybody who's watching me likes me. Not everybody who who's watching me wants me to be successful. Not everybody who's watching me has my best interest at heart. So I, as much as I always want to be like transparent and open, I also realize that I have, you know, that I, it's not really the most safest place to do that sometimes. But um, I have been gone because I have definitely been struggling with a lot of different emotions. Co-parenting is difficult and there's a part of me, honestly, that wasn't really ready for all of the mental hurdles that co-parenting with somebody who, you know, is not really a good partner would take me through. And I've definitely struggled with a lot of different emotions about this situation and it's it's you know i have had those moments where i think oh gosh okay i i should already be over this situation i should already be over this but something else happens and the wound is open again and it's 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 usually hard pretty hard to heal from something that you're constantly being exposed to you know um but that has been the biggest struggle for me um this year as you can already tell, I'm not really decorating for Christmas this year. December 24th is actually my birthday. But guys, I don't know that I want to do anything too big at all this year. I feel like I'm just trying to take everything slow. Like I have just been feeling very low, very low in spirits, you know, just like really sad about a lot of different things. And I just, this year when it comes to celebrations, I'm just not, you know, there. I'm not, I don't want to be a part of that like I feel like I've just it's, I've just been sad I've just been really sad and it's unfortunate but sometimes you just have to allow yourself to feel the feelings that you're feeling um but I'm probably gonna just have like a small get together with my family um just to kind of celebrate the day and to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ because usually we celebrate it on Christmas um but yeah this year has just it has just been one of those years that I feel like I've just been, it, it's, it's almost took me out. Like it just, it's been tough. <laughs>
to your own life I'm living in the past We're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high By the way, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, I was actually planning on recording for Thanksgiving. I bought all the food. I was going to do like a grocery haul, a menu and all of the good stuff. And then I was going to, you know, uh, meal prep with you guys. But I just during the time of Thanksgiving, somebody actually hacked my Instagram account. Um, they actually I actually got two accounts hacked. One of them I was able to get back. The other one I wasn't, which was my main account. And the Instagram hacking on top of everything else just kind of, it just took me out. I was just like, you know what? This is, this is enough. That's enough. I'm going to go ahead and sit this one out for the rest of the year. <laughs> Um, so I decided that I wasn't going to host and I felt so bad because I was, I told my parents I was going to host and then I ended up changing my, uh, my mind last minute. Um, but I just couldn't handle it anymore. I couldn't take all the different things, you know? Um, and I feel like sometimes it can just be like, you just have one thing after another happening in your life and you're just like, I just need a break. <laughs> like that's what I am feeling right now. And that's what I have been feeling where it's just, I'm kind of just tired and I just need a break. <laughs> um, but yeah, my Instagram got, got hacked. I do have another Instagram account, which is going to be my single mommy winning account. I will leave the link down below. I've actually just taken over that account and I'm going to make it my main, um, my main Instagram account. So it used to be where I post stuff related to my blog, but I'm just going to include everything together. Um, so you can definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Um, so yeah, you can follow along there, but, um, I feel like guys, and I'm just being transparent with you on this video. There's probably going to be a lot more talking than usual. So if you don't like that, I mean, you can skip this video, I guess, but, um, honestly, it's been, it's just been really challenging, um, as I mentioned before. And I think there's a part of me that usually when I'm going through these challenges, when I feel like my heart is heavy or I'm just mentally exhausted, um, which is what I've been feeling. I've just been feeling mentally and physically exhausted from everything that has been going on. And my first inclination as an introvert is to just seclude myself. Like I just keep to myself. I don't talk to anybody, even my family. Sometimes I don't talk to them. I just seclude myself and I and I just keep it keep it to myself you know and I handle the emotions by myself which is pretty much just not handling anything okay um and unfortunately when when you're a public figure when you post your life on YouTube and stuff it's kind of hard to just like you know be quiet because people are expecting to hear from you but yeah sometimes you just kind of need that and I I've just needed a lot more of those moments this year than before you know i've just really needed to take more unexpected unexpected time off uh from youtube than i ever thought i would <laughs> but um it's just been one of those years where i've just kind of felt like it's been one thing after another and guys oh my gosh um there's a part of me that's kind of happy the year is over but there's a part of me that's also sad because i'm turning a year older and i feel like i didn't really accomplish any of the things that i said i was going to accomplish but i also realized that these moments that i have gone through have really helped me understand so much about myself so much about god and it's been even though it's been one of the toughest years it's also been a really great year for me 
to learn more about myself, to learn more about my character and grow and grow and, you know, understand the things that I need to change um, so that I can be better. Um, but that doesn't really change the fact that it's still been pretty hard. And I'm just sharing this with you because I also know that I'm not the only one. Like, I think it's so easy with social media to just feel like, oh my gosh, like, these people have perfect lives. They're just posting on the internet. They're always so happy or they're always doing this and that. And you feel like everybody else is having a good life and you are struggling. And I want you to know if you feel like that, that you're not alone. Um, we all are going through something. Some of us are better at showing it than other people. But if you are struggling with anything in your life, like don't feel like you're behind. That's kind of what I have felt like. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's hard when you kind of watch videos of people putting up their Christmas trees and their decoration and you're just not mentally there. You're just, you know, you're mentally, you're not, you're not, you know, in a place where you actually want to do those things anymore. And that's where I have been. And it's been hard for me to not feel like I'm missing out or that I'm, my kids are missing out because they're not going to have a Christmas tree this year or whatnot. But I also understand Christmas is not really about getting a Christmas tree or getting all these different things. Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And, you know, my, and it, it, the fact that I haven't uh, decorated this year has really helped me to kind of go back to that mentality of this is what Christmas is actually about. So I wanted to share with you guys a quick grocery haul. Um, we definitely were out of a lot of items. So I uh, did a huge shopping this time around. These items are going to last me a long time. Um, so I needed to go grab some of those items while I was still kind of getting the house in order from the move-in. So here is the grocery haul. Starting here, I got some taco seasoning. Um, I also got this crunchy taco shells. I got some Ghirardelli um, white chocolate chips for baking. Um, this Libby's um, pumpkin puree. Some more cinnamon because I was out of cinnamon. I got some ground sugar, kiwi. Um, this Lalabas that I really like, I have actually, I've not had this in a long time because I haven't been able to find the banana bread, which is my favorite one, but I got a few of those here and then I got some lemons, um, some juice for the kids. And this is the, um, super fruit punch. I got some all purpose flour because I was out of those. We already opened this, but I got some of this Nutri, Nutri Grain uh, Buzz. The kids really love this. Um, it tastes really good. I got some carrots and some grapes. And then I also have bananas. Um, I got bananas, pineapple, and um, avocado that is not listed, shown here, rather. And then I got. Um, this um fettuccine uh pasta i love this nest so i already opened this because i made some fettuccine alfredo last night and then i got some apples um some honey crisp and some grannies got some raw um honey so i actually went shopping at um costco sam's club and walmart so um the honey is from costco and some of the other items are from Walmart and some Club. Uh, I got this downy, um, what are they called? Softeners. I couldn't decide which scent I liked. Um, I think I've bought two, both of this before, but I couldn't remember which one I actually liked the most before. So I decided to get both of this this time just to see um, which one I actually like. I'm leaning more towards this one because I really love the scent of this. So 
um i just wanted to try both of those but i love i love this brand it's so it smells so good um and then over here i got act um antibacterial mouthwash i also bought this uh tongue cleaner and then i got this um amanama um extreme whitening i actually have the deep clean uh, toothpaste so i have been using them together but i was out of this whitening uh toothpaste so i just added that to the other one and then i got a uh, cascade uh dish uh dish detergent whatever <laughs> I think I got this one from um, Sam's Club. They it was really inexpensive, like ten dollars or something like that. I got some Dawn dish soap. I also bought this uh, Lysol toilet cleaner, and then I got the refill for my mop. Some panko breadcrumbs because I have a recipe that's going to be using this. I got maple syrup from Costco. And then I got some pecans for baking. Okay, guys, so here are some more of, of the items. Most of these were refrigerated, so I had to put them in the fridge or freezer to avoid them going bad. Um, so I ended up getting some turmeric and ginger. I'm going to be using both of this for smoothies, not smoothies, um, juicing. I'm going to be juicing. So I wanted to get the um, whole, so I got both of those. I got some squash, um, chicken breast, shrimp, almond milk, this is salmon, ground beef, and then I got two of this cucumbers. I love, 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 love this. Uh, broccoli cheddar soup from Costco. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. The boys really love this too um, Yeah, so I had to get that. I really love that. I got some blueberries some potatoes sweet potatoes um, orange juice and then eggs spinach and um, uh, celery sticks for juicing as well and then I had to go to Sam's Club to get this because they didn't have them at Costco when I was there so I got the butt tissue and the towels from Sam's Club but that is it for the grocery haul I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I was out of a lot of things so I'm gonna put this away and continue cleaning and then I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tour of my kitchen with how I have everything organized
one thing that I'm, I have really learned this year doing this hardships and challenges that I've been facing is if whatever it is that you're going through in life, it if it's whatever if it's a, in a, an event, a situation, a circumstance that if it helps you understand who God is, if he takes you back to God, if you had, you know, stopped being a Christian or if you never were a Christian and that event, that situation, that person comes into your life and it makes you realize how much you need God. I feel like that situation, that event, that person has done their job. Um, like it's so easy sometimes to look at what we're going through and, and feel sorry for ourselves and, you know, think, oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? Um, why, you know, what did I do to deserve this? But I think it's also important to understand that, you know, in life, especially as a Christian, we're not really promised all happiness. There is going to be suffering. There's going to be situations where you feel like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know why this is happening to me. This is really hard. Uh, this is really tough. This is really unfortunate. Um, but as a Christian, speaking from a Christian's perspective, I understand now, you know, like those things that God allows to happen in, in our lives, you know, they serve a purpose. And in most cases, they serve the purpose of if we've left God to bring us back to him or to help us better understand him. Like I think about Job and how he lost everything that he had, you know, even though he was, you know, the most faithful, um, you know, servant in that area, God still used that situation to help Job understand who he was in light of God. Like, you know, um, and then I also think about Jesus and the fact that he came to this earth and he died for our sins so that we can have eternal life. And I think about the fact that he was willing to humble himself to the point of letting his own creation crucify him just so he can be able to die for their sins. Like in so many of those instances, he would he could have just said, you know what, I cannot, I don't have to take this anymore. And just, you know, stopped doing it. But he humbled himself to, you know, be treated like nothing. Um, just so he can be, just so he can be able to take on our sins. And it's the greatest sacrifice. It's the greatest, you know, love that anybody can show to put their life down for you. Um, but I think about those things and I realize, gosh, like if we're going to be more like Jesus, we're going to go through challenges. We're going to go through events that are going to help us understand more about being like Jesus, because he went through temptations, he went through the challenges, he went through the struggles. And as a Christian, if you want to be more like God, if you want to be more like Jesus, then you're going to go through those situations because they're going to shape you and build your character. And this is what this has done for me. And even though I feel so sad, even though I'm like, you know, this is really hard, this is really unfair, it shouldn't be happening. I also understand, gosh, like this is, God has really changed my heart through this situation. And I'm referring to my co-parenting relationship. He has really changed my heart to the point where instead of like being bitter towards this person, I actually want them to know God. I want them to come to the place where they realize how much they need God um, so that they can also experience the love that God offers but God has really used this situation to help me, first of all, come into terms with my own sin. Like I messed up. I, you know, should have never done what I did. But also like God used that to bring me close to him. Like he blessed me with two boys and through the challenges of, ha of having to be a single mother and dealing with a man who's, you know, toxic, he's used that to help me understand just how much I need him and to understand just how bad my scene was. You know, I, when I was busy doing what I was doing, I wasn't thinking about the future. And now I'm like, my kids have to grow up in this. And it makes me sad that I was willing to, you know, engage in something that I thought made me feel good at the time, but I didn't really think about the repercussions. And that's what sin does. It makes us 
think about do things that we're not supposed to do we think it's going to satisfy us but he doesn't really do that okay i feel like i've kind of rambled a bit but what i'm saying is what i learned the most thing that i learned is whatever it is that you're going through if it is helping you go back to god if it is helping you understand just how much you need him that thing is serving its purpose in your life and when I realized that, I was just like, gosh, like, I just want to thank this man for being this bad. Like, I want to say thank you because of you, because of this situation. Like, I have had to go back to the person, to the one that I needed all this time. <laughs> never up, never down, never like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Even though I have learned to be grateful for the bad experiences in my life, I also know that I've really struggled a lot with, you know, forgiving and I've really asked, you know, learned to ask God to help me not to be bitter, not to be upset, not to hold a grudge against this other person, especially when they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm always reminded about, about the story in the Bible of, you know, God is actually talking to his disciples and he tells them a story of a king who had a servant who owed him thousands of denarii and the servant goes to the king and begs for his forgiveness because he doesn't have the money. So the king has, you know, compassion on him and he forgives him. But that servant actually has somebody else that owes him, owes him money. And the person who owes the servant money comes to him and tells him, I'm so sorry, I cannot pay this. I have compassion on me. But that servant, even though the person that owes him, owes him less than he owed the other person, he decides to torture that person and uh, put them in prison until they can pay back his debt. So when the king hears that this servant who was forgiven is doing this to somebody else, he gets upset by that and he actually puts him in prison until he pays his debt. And the message at that, like at the end, uh, Jesus says, and I quote, So my heavenly father will also do to you 
if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. I always think about this. I've been reminded of this passage a lot um, because it's hard to forgive people who wrong you. Like, I feel like there's a part of me that always thinks, oh, I want to have some sort of revenge. I want to, you know, have this happen so that I can show them and this and that. But then I always think, gosh, God has forgiven me so much. God has given me so much that I can never repay him. And the least that I could do is forgive this as a person. Like, I'm realizing more and more that I don't need closure. I don't need a po- an apology. I don't need any of that. I need to bring it to God. And that's what I've been doing is just taking it back to God. God, I'm so sad. I don't know why I'm really sad, but I'm sad. And I hope that you can take this away from my heart. Remove this heaviness from me and help me to to heal from this situation. Um, I always take it back to God and try to and just bring it as at his feet because he's the only one that understands this situation but even more like i definitely don't want to be bitter about this and allow it to affect my kids you know um so if you're struggling with forgiving somebody who's wronged you or you're bitter or you're upset at somebody always remember especially if you're a Christian, remember what God has done for you. Uh, He calls us to forgive 70 times, seven times. And the premise with that is that you forgive so much that you actually forget how many times you've forgiven because God has really forgiven us a lot. (laughs) Um, But I do want to ask you, if you If you've watched this far, you definitely are a friend, a supporter, and you care about what I have to say. So I'm really grateful to you. If you are a Christian who believes in prayer, I want to ask you to pray for my ex. Um, I pray pray that you that God can be able to help him to, you know, God can change his heart because God is the only one that can change hearts. That God, that God can change his heart so that he can be a better parent to our kids and, you know, be a better co-parent. And I pray that you can also pray for me too that God will help me to not to continue healing from this situation and to be to not develop bitterness or, or anger or anything like that. Um, it's kind of weird for me to ask for prayers on a cleaning video (laughs) but that's the kind of community that i want to uh, develop here where we can be able to share our struggles and be able to encourage each other so i hope this video encouraged you today i know that i talked a lot i hope that wasn't too much for you (laughs) Uh, but you haven't had my voice for like a whole like two months so i guess like this is me making up for that um But guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I really appreciate you. Um, I am planning on posting more, God willing. Okay, guys. So I realized that when I was putting the items away, I wasn't really talking to you about where everything was going. I was just kind of (laughs) ranting a bit. So I wanted to just do like a quick tour just to show you where I've placed things, um, just in case you're curious. Of course, this is the pantry. And in the pantry, of course, I really am planning on doing like an organization video for the pantry. So I'm going to be getting some new containers for all those items. Definitely going to be organizing everything in here. I have a small pantry, so I'm kind of looking at ideas on how to actually organize it and make it look good uh, but everything right now is kind of all over the place I have to admit it's been a few days since I last um, put it together and then for this top drawer or top cabinet I wanted to just make it like a baking cabinet so I have mostly just baking stuff in here um, and once again, this is all going to be organized. So everything that you're seeing is just temporary. I'll be organizing everything soon. And then the one after that, I have some of my plates and some Tupperware inside. Um, I want to switch this to just Tupperware and other things. So the plates are going to be moving to this one right here, which has some of the plates that I have. So I'm going to add the rest of the plates to this cabinet. The top one over there just has some random things. And here I decided to put my cups and 
it's kind of empty here because I need to add some more but I decided to add my cups and my mason jars inside this cabinet of course on the top of the counter I just have my salt and pepper and olive oil containers and everything else my utensils so with my um, cookware I was actually planning on placing it into the drawer but it couldn't fit into the drawer like this especially was too big so I decided to just place them up here for now and then I will be kind of uh, moving things around and putting them back in the drawer when I do that and then I just have that's my sugar I actually want to get like a lazy Susan here where I'll have like a little tea station because I don't drink coffee but I drink tea <laughs> so I want to have like a little tea station here so I'm gonna get a little lazy Susan um, to put that together my blender and my juicer are out because I am um, juicing and blending a lot more now so that's the counter and then for the bottom here of course I showed you I have my spoons and some other stuff all jumbled up in there <laughs> and then in here I have some more items I decided to put my knives in here um, I got this organizer from home goods so I just <laughs> and everything else is a mess but this is a difficult drawer for me because I don't know how to actually organize it well. But I'll figure it out. <laughs> In here is all the paper stuff. My aluminum uh, foil and other stuff. And then this is where I have all of my sp spices which are messed up right now. I do plan on putting this in different containers, so those will be coming soon, but I just thought that it would still be a lot easier to find the spices if I organize them like this, um, so I can still be able to use it. Okay, on this bottom drawer, I decided to make this the kids drawer um, so that they can be able to reach for their own things. So I have all of their plates in a it's kind of bright so uh, okay I have all of their plates and their cups in here I found this little organizers at home goods I want to get like an actual utensil organizer but I thought this would work for now to put their um, spoons in and that's all the cups and then down here I have all of their plates and bowls and then on this side oh let me increase the brightness <laughs> on this side I have just random things in here just my kettle and electric mixer and you can't really see that very well but it's just uh, trivets in there and then on this one I just have random things I have some pots and pans in here wow this is really dark <laughs> I have some pots and pans, um, some cooking stuff, some uh, bowls, basically just random stuff in here. This is also the other place where I wanted to put the, um, the uh, cookware, but I couldn't really get that out. For some reason, I'm not able to get this thing out, so I just had to put it up there. And then I just have the leads for the cookware in here as well and so guys that is pretty much it for the organization I will as I said be doing a lot more to kind of organize it so stay tuned for those videos if you haven't um, subscribed be sure to subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one bye bye